Hey, what's up boys and girls? Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. I'm Vince Delmani and we're uh, going through a series of questions that have to do with fat loss and getting cut. So uh, I got 60 seconds to answer each question. These are coming right off my Facebook fan page. If you're interested in having a question of yours personally answered like I'm about to do so for these other fellows, uh, fellas, fellas, fellettes, um, <laughs> then uh, be sure to uh, like my fan page, vincedelmonifanpage.com. The reason you need to like it is so that you get notified in your own status feed when I ask for the questions. If you just visit the page, you might miss it. Uh, so do that and um, we'll help you in a future episode, but let's get to the questions here and I'm betting that uh, you've got some similar ones to these uh, great questions that are being asked right now. So first question is gonna go to Bruno. Bruno wants to know what was your diet like when you started preparing for the WBFF? So I've obviously got to plug a program that I created that walks you through my entire prep for my WBFF shows last year. Um, some of you guys probably own this already. Uh, some of you may have never seen it and it's called um, Stage Shredded Status. So when I was 227 pounds, I decided to document my entire transformation down to this condition here. Uh, that's about 195, um, probably around 5% body fat in that photo. And this is, um, you know, basically the approach I took, uh, Bruno, was uh, what I guess you could call a slow dieting approach. I gave myself four months to diet down. I was coached by Ben Pikowski, IFB pro bodybuilder. And um, what we did was we controlled my hormones in the morning and the night. So I had no carbs in my meal one, no carbs in my meal two. I trained in the afternoon and I allocated my carbs to approximately two hours before training. Uh, 30 minutes into my workout, one hour after my workout, and four hours after my workout. And um, protein was standardized, obviously, across the board. And so all we really did was reduce my calories gradually and kind of moved around where certain um, macros were placed in the day to kind of manipulate hormones a bit. Um, I'll be honest, man, if you're really serious about learning how I did this, there's eight DVDs in here. I'll post a link for you below if you're interested. You can read more about it and it'll walk you through my entire transformation and you can see, um, I mean, you can basically see my body change over a 16 week period. So something that I, um, this is one of my um, pet projects and I'm pretty proud of it. So you'll get a lot of valuable information out of that. So the so next question is from Lee Pollock. Lee wants to know, hi Vince, my question is about post-workout protein consumption. I have my shake when I finish training, but I recently read an article by Joel Marion that said, um, said uh, whey isolate can cause a big insulin response as white, can cause just as big insulin response as white bread. If my goal is weight loss, then I should stop drinking my post-workout shake and stick to whole foods. Okay, so the, the, pro, the, the true whey, uh, whey protein does cause a big insulin spike, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Insulin spike is great if it's timed at the right time of the day. Uh, Post-workout is an excellent time to spike your insulin to help um, shut all those nutrients into your muscles and to reduce cortisol and to initiate the recovery process. Also, it helps uh, prevent protein breakdown. So there's, you, you have to kind of have a broader frame of reference to the science to understand that an insulin spike isn't necessarily evil. Uh, there's certain times in the day where we certainly want to minimize them and we don't want it high. And uh, obviously, you know, that's in the evening times, morning times, but after a workout, we totally want a post-workout protein shake. The only time I eliminate my post-workout post shake is about two weeks out from a show when I'm going from about 6% down to 4% and I wanna maximize a thermogenesis from my food. And that's when I'm eating six days, I'm eating six meals a day of just food and no liquid nutrition. But that's at the end of the transformation. So the next question uh, is um, coming from Jose. Jose wants to know, hey Vince, um, how many um, calories do I need to do, need to take in to stay lean for summer? And how much cardio should I do? I'm doing cardio three days a week and carb cycling, but you know, do not want to lose more weight. I leave the cardio in, do I leave the cardio in or increase my calories? 
Uh, kind of confused by the question. Let's just answer the first question. How many calories do you need to stay lean for summer? I'm not fully sure, Jose. It depends on how often you're exercising. Most people to maintain their current body weight, it's about uh, body weight times 14, uh, the multiple of 14. Um, if you're exercising more frequently, if you have a more active lifestyle, it might be 15 or so. Um, and then if you're less active, if you're trying to lose weight with just kind of diet and not uh, manipulating, um, you're not exercising a lot, it might be your body weight times 13. Again, these are just guesses, and these are what are called starting points. Uh, the, the key is to implement one of these multiples and then see what happens, and then make adjustments based on what's actually happening. This is called outcome based decision making, uh, which we'll eventually dive a little more deep in in one of these episodes. So that's it. Okay, we'll give the last question to Salim. Salim wants to know, hey Vince, are there any tips or pointers for toning and cutting muscle? I think you mean like cutting up your muscle, making it more detailed. I'm 19, weighing 113 kilograms. I'm planning to start a workout next week. It'd be great to have some pointers. Um, I'm sure most guys are clueless on how to start toning and getting more, getting cut. Okay, so the first thing obviously to do is, I, I you know, I gotta make sure you're surrounded by good information, uh, people that have done what you want to do so that you can initiate the education process um, so that you can start implementing this because you've got a big journey ahead of you. So the first step I would recommend doing is subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel so that you can start committing uh, you know, you know, five to ten minutes every two days to just taking this information and, and, and starting to understand it. You need to become a student of all this information. You've got to learn. Uh, next thing I highly recommend you do is go to my website and continue the learning process via my articles. Go to vincedelmontefitness.com and start reading the articles and start understanding the bigger picture principles that go into losing fat. Uh, I, the next thing you want to do, there's two more things I recommend you doing, is you need to give yourself a deadline and you want to give yourself um, a goal. What's your goal? What are you training for? Why are you doing it? Without a goal, it's hard to you know, wake up every day and do this and follow your diet and make these daily decisions. So set a goal and give yourself a deadline. And the last thing I recommend is pick up one of my programs that'll take all the thought out of it for you and just start to follow it. Okay. Then you can just learn from doing and you don't have to try and figure this out on your own. All right, so that wraps up another episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. Thanks so much. I'm looking forward to doing this for you again. If you found that helpful, uh, be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. You know how this all works. I'm looking forward to transitioning into a new series of questions over the next couple of videos. We're going to start uh, looking at a lot of questions that have to do with bulking. We're going to start looking at how to bulk up on a budget, uh, what to do if you're training with minimal time, and I've got some great answers coming to you guys in two days' time. Be sure to subscribe so you get no notified first. See you guys.